वेलकम टू मैथ्स कट्टा माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टैंडर्ड टेन मैथ्स वन चैप्टर नंबर वन लीनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल्स लीनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल मींस व्हाट एन इक्वेशन व्हिच कंटेन टू वेरिएबल्स एंड डिग्री ऑफ ईच टर्म कंटेनिंग द वेरिएबल इज वन इज कॉल्ड एज अ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स The general form of this equation is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, where this a and this b and c these are the real numbers. A and b are not equal to zero at the same time. One a or b may be zero at the one time. Consider the equation three x is equal to four y minus twelve. This equation contains two variable x and y. The degree of each x and y is one. This general form of it is three x minus four y plus twelve is equal to zero. Now you know that the two equations or more than two equations when we consider at the same time. then it is called as a simultaneous linear equations in two variable there are different methods to solve these equations the first method which you studied already in 9th standard we want to consider again here it is a elimination method consider the example that 5x minus 3y is equal to 8 and 3x Plus y is equal to two. These two equations are the simultaneous linear equations in two variables x and y. To solve this means we want to find the value of x and y. First step is a uh, first of all give the numbering to the equations that is equation number one and equation number two. Then observe the co coefficients of x. There are the coefficients are. Three and five, or five and three. The next is a minus three. Coefficients of y are minus three and one. Now, to find the value of any variable, you want to eliminate any one of the variable from these two equations. Then, how to eliminate it? First of all, make the coefficients same for any one of the variable. Therefore, we multiply the both equations. We want to multiply both sides of the equation by three. By equation number two by three, because equation two has the very co coefficient of y as one. When we multiply it three, then the coefficients of equation uh, coefficients of y in equation one and two will be same. Therefore, multiply it by three, then you will get the third equation that will be. 3x into 3 is 9x, y into 1 is 3y, and 2 into 3 is 6. Give this as equation number 3. Now write down again the first equation: 5x minus 3y is equal to 8. Here, 3y and 3y are same, but the signs of that them are different. Therefore, let us add them together to get cancel. Therefore, adding this equation 1 and 3, you will get This three y and three y will get cancelled. Then five x and nine x will be fourteen x, and eight plus six is again fourteen. When we transfer this fourteen on right side, it will be divided. Then you will get x is equal to one. Substituting this value of x is equal to one in any one of the equation. You consider equation number two. Equation number two is three x plus y is equal to two. Then three into one. Plus y is equal to two. Then transfer this three on right side. Then y is equal to minus one. Then solution is x is equal to one and y is equal to minus one. It can be also written as in the round round bracket. That is round bracket containing x y is equal to first write the value of x and then write the value of y. That is one and minus one. Now consider the next example. 
Now fifteen x plus seventeen y is equal to twenty one, and seventeen x plus fifteen y is equal to eleven. These two equations are given to you. Observe that these two equations have the coefficients of x and y are very large, and they are interchanging in both equations. When you have such equations, then you want to add them first of all, and then subtract again this same equation. You will get another two equations, and you can solve them easily. Then first consider equation number one and equation number two. Give give the numbering to it, and then add these two equations together. Then you will get thirty two x plus thirty two y is equal to thirty two. You can divide this equation by thirty two. Then dividing the equation by thirty two, you will get x plus y is equal to one, which is equation number three. This is your first step. Now, when you subtract this equation, that is subtracting equation number two from one, you when you subtract the equation, always remember that that you want to change the sign of the each term in the second equation. That is minus here minus and here again minus. Then you will get minus two x, seventeen y minus fifteen y is plus two y and Plus ten, twenty one minus eleven is plus ten. These numbers are divisible by two, and therefore dividing this equation by two, you will get minus x plus y is equal to five. Give this as equation number four. Now equation three and equation four have very simple equations. Have the coefficients of x and y are same, and signs are also. Say for y same and for x are different. Therefore, you may add or subtract these equations from each other. Let us add this equation number three and four. Then x plus y is equal to one. This is our equation number three, and equation number four is minus x plus y is equal to five. Then when x and x will get cancelled, y plus y is two y. Two y is equal to six. Then y is equal to three. Let us substitute this value of y in any one of these two equations. Consider the equation number three. That is x plus y is equal to one here again, and substitute y equal to three. Then x plus three is equal to one. Then x is equal to one minus three. That is minus two. And therefore, solution is minus two plus three is the solution. Again, consider another example. Three a plus five b is equal to twenty six, and a plus five b is equal to twenty two. You can observe that this five b and this five b, these two terms, that is the coefficient of b, are same. When you numbering this equation number one and two, then as the signs of five b are same, you want to subtract this equation. Subtracting equation two from equation one. You change the sign of equation number two again. Then five b and this five b will get cancelled. You will get three a minus a is two a, and twenty six minus twenty two is four. Then a is equal to two. When you transfer these two on this side, it will be divided. Substituting this value of a in equation one, you will get three into two plus five b is equal to twenty six. Six plus five b is equal to again twenty six. Transfer six on right side, it will be minus six. Then five b is equal to twenty six minus six means twenty. Then b is equal to four. Thus the answer is a b is two four is our solution. Consider another example again. Observe here two x minus three y is equal to nine and two x plus y is equal to thirteen. In this example, coefficient of x are same now, and signs of x term are same. Therefore, you want to subtract this equation. When you write the numbering equation number one and two, subtracting equation number one from two because the right side of two is larger. Therefore, two x plus three y is equal to thirteen. Equation number two minus first equation that is two x minus three y is equal to nine. Equation number one. Change the signs. Then 2x and this 2x will get cancelled. Then y plus 3y is 4y is equal to 9, 13 minus 9 is 
dividing this both side by 4 or transfer this 4 on right side then y is equal to 1. Substituting this value of y in equation number 2 because equation 2 have all the positive signs. Therefore consider that is 2x plus y, y means 1 is equal to 13. Transfer 1 then it will be minus then 2x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 6. Therefore solution is x, y is a value of x is 6 and value of y is 1. Now consider another next example. 99x plus 101y is equal to 499 and 101x plus 99y is equal to 501. Observe that coefficient of x is here same as coefficient of y. Coefficient of y in the first equation is same as the coefficient of x in the second equation. Thus the coefficients are interchanged each other. Therefore first of all we want to add these two equations. Then adding the equation 1 and 2 add this write down 1 by 1 then you will get 200x plus 200y is equal to 1000 when you divide this equation by 200 then you will get x plus y is equal to 5 give this as equation number 3 then subtract the equation 1 from 2 again because equation 2 has larger right side when you subtract again change the sign of the last equation then 101x minus 99x is 2x, 99y minus 101y is minus 2y is equal to 2. Then divide this equation by 2, x minus y is equal to 1. Give this as equation number 4. Now adding equation number 3 and 4, you will get 3x plus y is equal to 5 is our equation number 3 and x minus y is equal to 1 is our equation number 4. Then a, y and y will get cancelled. x plus x is 2x is equal to 6 then x is equal to 3. Substituting this value of x is equal to 3 in equation number 3. That is x plus y is equal to 5. x is 3. Therefore 3 plus y is equal to 5 means y is equal to 5 minus 3 that is y is equal to 2. And therefore the solution is 3 and 2. Thank you. And if you like this video then like the video and share it with your friends subscribe the channel to get the next notification